Welcome back, everyone. You're watching the Pink Raven Tarot. I'm your host, Kendall Wallace, and I am what? That bitch. Um, like, I, I forgot. I got tongue tied. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm doing another request of reading on Miss Paige Marie Hurd. I've never heard of this woman before. I guess she's an actress. Um, yeah, I've, I have no idea who this is. So, like with always, you already know. Um, oh, before I get into that, I'm going to start linking my, um, my cash up in each of my, like, initial videos. Like, so if it's part, like, one, like, I'm going to just put my cash up in my, in, like, the description just so people can access it easier. If you want to send me a gift, appreciate it. So, like with always, I always ask about the general energy, um, people I've never read before. And this is what she got. I was like, ooh. Number one, she got the seven of pentacles. She's um, thinking about a lot of shit right now. She's contemplating. I'm getting life, her career. Look at this money. The pentacles, they're about money. Okay. She's, what should I invest my time in to get money, to prosper? What should I water this water, like my energy, like my soul? What should I put my, my all into? What project? What avenue? What lane? She's thinking about a lot of shit right now. And I don't know if she's just an actress, but she might be trying to do other stuff like produce or do something else on the side. The Six of Wands. But she's feeling herself, though. She's feeling very confident. The Six of Wands, it speaks about, um, like, overcoming, like, victory, like, you know, like conquering yourself. Look at these hoes on the side looking like, oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. This is her. This is Miss, um, what's her name? Paige. This is her. Okay, so she's feeling her oats right now. But the Seven of Swords, somebody being sneaky around her. The Seven of Swords means somebody's being crafty, being sneaky. Like, she got to keep her eye out on somebody. And I feel like this has to do with work. You see this building, like, it's like a school. But I'm, like, Spirit's telling me this is her job. So somewhere, I'm getting an executive, too. <clears throat> so a producer or whatever, they doing some shady shit around her. And she don't like that shit. And then she's like, bitch, like, I like to act and stuff. I like to entertain. But this next card, the Knight of Wands, I call this the employee burnout card. Because the, the Wands is about passions. See, this wand about what you're passionate about. But it's in reverse. So maybe she's, she was passionate about acting and stuff. But it's starting to slowly go. Especially, you start to hate the shit you love. Especially if there's bullshit centered around it. This is why people quit their jobs because, like, at first it was cool, but then y'all doing so much bullshit, it make me not want to be here no more. It could be the public, too. People would be saying shit online. But she's having a little employee um, burnout right now towards something. The Page of Wands. Does she got kids? I don't know if she got kids. She got two pages here. Pages are about, um, they're usually about children, not all the time necessarily. But um, I'm getting kid energy from this. So I don't know if she got kids or she pregnant. Um, but yeah, something about... Maybe she's thinking about having kids, but now is not the right time. Because it's in reverse. I told you she's contemplating shit. So she's probably thinking about... She could be... If she don't got kids, she's thinking about them or like settling down. I don't know how old she is, but she probably, what, late 20s, 30s? <clears throat> so she's probably thinking about settling down. The Page of Swords... Now this, bitch, the page of sword reverse, um, I usually associate this with somebody's lurking on your ass, like watching you to go report back to like somebody and talk shit. This is probably what she feeling paranoid about. These are both swords, remember? The swords is in your mind. So she feel like somebody around her is watching her. It's like watching her every move and they're going to be talking shit. And it's somebody she works with too, so... You know how Hollywood is. The Nine of Swords in reverse. Her boundaries are being crossed. Somebody's doing some fuck shit or they did some fuck shit to her. And she was like, hold up, they what? Who the fuck is you talking to? Like, who are you dealing with? So somebody, they did some shit to her recently. Or they're about to. So girl, if you see this, be careful. Somebody's going to be out of pocket. Like, you got me fucked up. Judgment card. I feel like she feels like, yeah, okay. There's too much judgment going on, especially in the work life. Being in the spotlight is not easy. Everyone got some shit to say. And it's making her 
it's making her not want to act and not want to be like, or not want to do it. Being a celebrity, it's not like you should never want to be a celebrity. Like that shouldn't be something you want to be unless you're like weird. Um, Cause it's not like you basically are a prison. <laughs> Like, everybody's in your fucking business. Like, they feel like they got access to you. Like, and all that shit. Like, it's... Y'all just don't know half the shit that be going on in Hollywood. But um, that's a whole nother topic. But this is just in her um, general energy, okay? And what's on the bottom? Usually what's on the bottom of the deck is what we don't see. So what's she not seeing? Knight of Pentacles. She might lose some money. Or she might lose a project, too. Or an opportunity to make some money. Or it could be taken away from her, so... Girl, that's in her general energy. And how you doing? 